because of all the research that I've been a part of, people often ask me what are the characteristics of a really good leader. And what they're really drilling down into is what can I do to be a better leader? And of course, there's a $15 billion industry dedicated to that. But, but here are three things, really simple things that you can do right now in your world to be more effective as a leader of others. The first is clarify your values. We, your followers, we need to understand how you're going to be in every situation. We don't expect you to be perfect. We do expect you to be predictable. You're going to be dragging us into the future. The future is unknown. We need to know that you know what you stand for. So you have to clarify your own values. Are you about speed? Are you about innovation? Are you about intelligence? Are you about warmth? Are you about altruism? What do you stand for? You don't stand for everything. People can't keep that in their head. They can't predict if you say I'm everything, I'm all things to all people. We like to follow a leader who knows what is most important to them. When push comes to shove and shove and shove and shove, where do you end up? What values, and there's gonna be a very few of them, live with you in your corner? When you know that, then you'll be able to explain that to us and we'll be able to be more confident following you. That's the first thing. The, the second is learn how to tell stories. Human beings are meaning-finding creatures. We love narrative. We make sense of everything as beginning, middle, and end. We make sense of everything as protagonist, drama, resolution. That's how we make sense of faith. It's how we make sense of our own lives. It's how we make sense of relationships. So as a leader, you've got to use the language of a human to be able to get humans to follow you. And the language of humans is story. I don't mean you have to turn into Mark Twain or William Shakespeare to tell stories. I mean the stories that you tell about customers or about products or about what happened last week, those stories and they could be super short and you might be uh, not very evocative in telling them. You might just tell them in your ways. The stories you tell show us what's important to you. So learn to choose wisely what stories you're going to tell. Tell them frequently too, by the way. The quality of the story is trumped by the frequency with which you tell stories. So it doesn't matter how brilliantly you do it once. It's what are you telling all the time? The third is check in with your people every week. I'm sorry if that sounds prosaic or banal, but the best leaders realize that the people who have the intelligence, the people who have the intelligence about what is really going on in the world, is not the leader, it's the people that are out there bumping into the product or the customers or the issues. That's where the real intelligence lies. So if you want to be able to lead people well, you check in with them frequently about their real world intelligence. Whatever goals you set at the beginning of the year become irrelevant the third week of the year, and the best leaders realize that. They realize the world moves really fast and the only way that they can stay in touch with how a team engages with the real world is if you frequently touch base with people around the work they're doing. And what, and what you are doing, of course, is A, you're listening and B, you're offering course correction or a tweak or an adjustment based upon the intelligence that's coming to you from the real world. So those are the three things you can do right now to be able to engage your followers more emotionally, more authentically, and in the end, more effectively.